Ashtokra 28, Seva and the Art of Enthusiasm. Yeah, this is a continuation from last week's verses. What did we do last week? What did you do last week? I'm in all these forms. That is the chapter name. Uh, yeah, when you drop I, I, mine, mine. The limitation of the mind is I, I, I. Yeah, I am like this. I am not like this. This is all vibhagam, he said last week. Yeah, he said, drop all this vibhagam. I am soham, I am naham. Vibhagam iti santyajya. When you drop all these distinctions, then you see, Oh, I am that Purusha. That same Purusha is here, is in him, is in him, is in her, is in her, is in everybody and everything. I am in all the forms. Yeah? This is all Bhranti. Just like in Yoga Vashishta also we are doing. No? This is all a dream. And it's even more complicated. It's a dream inside a dream inside a dream. Yeah? It does not really exist. Everything is a dream. Yeah? Ranti Matra. It is only an illusion. So that was the gist of last week. And then the last verse of last week was Nirvasana. Sphurti Matra. Nirvasana is... We did this last week. Uh, dropping... All Vasanas. So he went on to elaborate it today for you. You remember in today's talk at the end he says, I have been repeating this. Mm -hmm. you know? So he repeated the same thing from last week. Become devoid of Vasana. So what is Vasana? Desires. And? How is it created? Because of attachment to our action. Huh. Yes. Not just action, even? Even? The results of the action. Even the thought of it. Yes. Even if I think about, you know, I don't like this person. I might not do anything about it. Yeah. But I thought, no. And I keep thinking and I keep thinking and I keep thinking about it and I have those emotions come up of anger or jealousy or hatred, whatever. And that just attachment to this single thought has led to an impression in my mind. That is a vasana. Yeah? Everything that we do, we do out of vasana. See, mark this. When I get up and I do a particular thing, why am I doing behind that? Look, oh, I like to do this thing. yeah, Or I have a dislike for the opposite thing. Yeah? So, this is homework number one for you. Whatever I am doing, behind that I see what vasana is there in me. Yeah, he gave you many examples, no, today. If you have to just cook for yourself, see how you will cook. And if few friends are coming over, see how you will cook. Yeah, there is a difference in the way you behave. Yeah, now you are all sitting together. Yeah, and see how you are behaving right now. And when you are just by yourself, alone. When there is nobody, then you see how you are behaving. If you are observing a discrepancy in the two, yeah, you are running on the basis of vasanas or you are working on the basis of your own vasanas. Got it? So this is homework number one. Look within whatever action I am doing, what is the vasana behind it? Yeah? 
See, when you're sitting at home, how you dress and when you're coming and meeting people, how you dress. So what is the vasana behind it? What is the thought behind it? What, what do the other people think about me? Ah, the... Beautiful. What will he think? What will she think? Yeah. Because of what I feel that somebody else will think about me, whether he will like it or she will not like it. Yeah. Be based on that, I am dressing up. Yeah. Then I am running my life on vasana. Yeah, this is very subtle, huh? And very, very important. This moment, recognize I am doing this out of vasana and drop. I have become a slave to other people's opinions. Yeah, I am not living freely at all. So, this is the biggest homework for you. Identifying your vasanas behind every action. How you are dressing, what you are saying, what you are doing, what you are not doing. How you are walking. Yeah? Everything, everything. Behind that, look, what is the vasana? Just identification of the vasana is good enough. It will drop. Yeah? It's like looking into the mirror. Yeah? Till now you were dodging the mirror. Now just look at the mirror. That's, that's all you have to do. The knowledge will do the rest. You don't have to do anything after that. Yeah? Just be natural. And what is natural? You have to forget about that I inside you and just do the things. Yeah, and what is this I that you're talking about? Ego. Yeah, everything around you, whatever you are doing, saying, you know, looking at, not looking, everything is spiced with your ego. He said this, no, it's a beautiful fruit salad, but it has a lot of sand in it. Yeah. Yes, drop this. Just be natural. Doesn't matter. Can you do that? And what is this state called? What is it called? You're just doing it, no? Nirvasana. Nirvasana. Yeah, got it? Till now we understood. What is Vasana? How I am running my life on Vasana? Yeah? And what is the step I have to do? Just identify my Vasanas. Automatically, they drop. And what is that state called? Nirvasana. Clear? Yeah? Now, in a state of Nirvasana, have you noticed? You are open. You are ready to help. Ready to do seva because it is your own nature. Yeah? That's where the talk began, no, today? What did he say? We all say words to each other, but we have to say some these important words like, Can I help you? I'm there. I can get you comfortable when you need me to. So these are the important words. If we, if we haven't said these words, then we, that means we are in like not trusting the world, we are in fear. Uh, then you have not lived. If you have not said these words to anybody until today, you have not really lived life. Yeah? If you need me, I am here. Then you said it to your children, to your wife, to your husband. You know? Yes. So he says, this comes out of what state? Nirvasana. Are you getting it? Yeah. See, there was those moments when you told your little girl or your little boy, yeah, or your most loved one in the family, I am here telling whatever you need. There was no vasana there. Yeah. 
take your mind back to that state when you said it. Hey na? Right? Yeah. If you need me, I am here. Yeah. And this state is devoid of me, me, mine, mine, I, I. That is not there. There is no ego in this. You are not looking for something. The moment I'm looking for something, oh, he should appreciate me. He should say, oh, very good, very good. Then, is that seva? No, na. So, homework number one. Today, we will all do seva. And how should the seva be? Nirvasana, yeah? devoid of any vasanas. Yeah? Because what is desire? Desire what? You are running after the same five sense objects. What you see, how much will you see? Yeah? Guruji said a very beautiful thing na? today, beauty is infinite. How much will you see? Yeah, your eyes get tired but the beauty can never exhaust. Yeah. Drop being a slave to your senses. These five senses, na? we become slaves to them. Drop, drop. The world is so big. Life is infinite. Yeah. But the limitation of your five senses yeah, tires you. So stop. Yeah, recognize this. This is a vasana in me. Yeah, I want this. I want this. I want this. I want appreciation. I want somebody else to say, Oh, I am good. I am good. Have you noticed? Yeah. If this is a lot, you are stuck in the sense of which sense is it? Looking for appreciation. Ah, sense of sound. He should say good to me. She should not criticize me. This is, I am stuck in sense of sound. So identify, huh? So your homework number one was identifying the vasana. The part two of that homework is, oh, which sense is it related to? We've done this before, but now we are doing it more in depth. Which sense is still dominating me? Is it sense of sound? Is it sense of sight? Yeah, it could be sense of touch. Yeah, for some people it is still sense of taste. Yeah. Where is the mind still stuck? Yeah. So, rise beyond the vasanas. Become nirvasana. And then only can you do true seva. Then only can you say, no, I am here for you. If you need me, I am here. Yeah, whatever time, whenever you tell me, I am here. Yeah, when that comes from a pure heart, yeah, it is the state of nirvasana. Yes, and then he gave you a lot of stories about uh, Seva, no? Yes. Yeah, the lady who tells the beggar, yeah, my father-in-law only eats stale food. Yeah. You see, are you eating stale food? <laughs> yeah, if you are just uh, enjoying all the merits from your past life and not doing any good merit now, Homework number three. Today you will do some seva. Completely from the state of nirvasana. No appreciation. I don't want appreciation. I don't want anything from this. Nirvasana. Yes? You also told you, you know how if sometimes you get bugged of a beggar and we just throw money at the beggar. Yeah. You wasted that money. Yeah, not 
out of any raga or dvesha. Yeah? Raga or dvesha is nothing but vasana. Yes. So, some seva. Four of you sitting in the room. After the talk is over, you will all four decide what seva you are going to do. Yeah, it can be individual seva or it can be a group activity, whatever. Yeah, or all of you on Google Hangout also, you all can discuss. But you have to do something, some seva. Without looking for any appreciation, without any desire, I want this from it. Even without a desire of that person should say thank you to me. If you are looking for even a thank you, this is? This is Vasana. Yes? I am not even looking for a thank you. I just do and I move to the next task. Done. Yes? Clear? So this is the biggest homework for today. Yeah? Eat fresh. Stop eating stale food. Okay? So, it is Nirvasana Sphurti Matra. What is Sphurti Matra? Ah, being enthusiastic the way you were when you were a little kid. How was little Harish? Always happy, always jumping, always ready to do whatever came your way. Is it like that today? No, no, no. I like to do this, so I'll do only this. I don't like to do that. What is this? Acting out of? Vasanas. Raga and Dvesha. When you are acting out of Raga and Dvesha, this is nothing but Vasanas. When I drop both, then I am completely in my nature. Enthusiastic. Yes, I always tell parents, never, never, you know, beat your child because he's enthusiastic about doing everything all the time. And you are tired. And lots of parents do that, huh? No, now you keep quiet. I'm very tired. In fact, you cultivate that sphurti, that enthusiasm. You are the source yourself. You recognize this. Yeah. So can you be enthusiastic? Guruji gave you homework. What was Guruji's homework? Enthusiastic about something which you dislike. Huh. So this is your homework number four, no? Three. Three? Okay. So homework number three, write down. You have to first find out what is it that you are not enthusiastic about. What is it? <laughs> and second part, be enthusiastic about doing it. Yeah, recognize you are enthusiasm yourself. Lot of people on this path, they begin, huh? Then they go deeper into knowledge and they become like very serious meditation, this, that. And then they say, oh, I am very dispassionate. I am not interested in other things. So then they say, oh, I am not interested in your party and I am not interested in your you know, going out for movies with you. And then, you know, the other person is very interested in that. And then there are clashes. Have you noticed? I'm just giving, throwing out an example that somebody shared with me. That between the husband and wife there was clashes happening. You wanted to sit and meditate but the other partner wants to watch TV or wants to take you out shopping and you're like, oh, I am dispassionate about shopping it now. Yeah, and then there are clashes in the house. Yeah. No. Being completely spontaneous. This situation demands this out of me. Up. You see what I am saying? Yeah? 
Now the situation demands that I go and rob a bank. Do I do that? No. Yeah, there I have to use my viveka. Yeah, what is right? What is wrong? Yes. Got it? Yeah, but being enthusiasm yourself. Drop this that the enthusiasm is related to an object. Yeah, till the time you have this relationship of your enthusiasm with some object, yeah, you are still stuck in vasana. The moment you drop this association with the object, yeah, you can act spontaneously. You know, whatever is required, I am ready now. Yes? So, being Spurti Matra. This is the next homework which Guruji gave you. Yeah? So, remember, spirituality is not dull and boring. Huh? So, just because you have started being spiritual, oh, I am dispassionate. I only sit with my eyes closed in a corner. No, no. Huh? Don't make concepts in your head. Spirituality is dropping all concepts that I had. This limitation that I had created in my head, these categories, vibhagam, we did know last week vibhagam, these vibhagams that I had created, dropping that is spirituality. Don't go and create a new vibhagam for spirituality. Oh, this is my spiritual side. Got it? You are the source of enthusiasm. Sphurti Matra. Yes, we go ahead in the sutra. Sphurti Matra. Na Kinchid Iva. What is Na Kinchid Iva? Come on, we did this now last week. I am, I am nothing else. Yeah? I am Sphurti Matra. I am enthusiasm itself. And I am nothing else. Na Kinchid Eva. Yes? It's not out of a sad, oh, I am nothing. It's the end of the world. It's not a sad or apathetic state. Yeah? It is a state of enlightenment where I recognize, oh, I am peace. I am that sphurti, that enthusiasm. It's got nothing to do with the external object. It is here. It is not here. Yeah? When you turn inwards, you find that I am nirvasana. I am Sphurti Matra. I am not all these Vibhagams in the mind that I had created. Then whatever I do, I am automatically doing with enthusiasm. Guruji said, no, whether you are doing gardening or dancing, singing. He gave you many examples, remember? Yeah. You are enthusiasm. He said, if you have likes and dislikes, then you are not one with the divine. You are not one with the universal existence. Some doors are still closed. There are walls. Yeah. Vibhagam that we discussed last week. Yeah. Drop, drop these walls. Break them. Yeah. Let go. Be enthusiastic about everything. That is why that homework is very important that Guruji gave you. Be enthusiastic about something you do not like. Yeah. So, now each one of you is going to tell me something that you do not like. Huh? And you are going to be enthusiastic about doing it. Each one of you. Remember, I'm going to say I 
don't like coming to Mesa. <laughs> good one. Very good one, Harish. I said, I said I'm not going to say that I don't like coming to Mesa. <laughs> Not just saying it, Harish, you are going to go to Mason now every week after this, okay? Doesn't matter. However difficult it is, it doesn't matter. Yeah, Charu is leaving, so we need one more person. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> good. Good. Very good, Harish. Okay. Next. Done. Harish has already said it, what he's going to do. Not just saying it, huh? you have to do it. Very good example, Harish. No, I, I know the. I, I, I completely understood your question. You said you had to pick one that you don't like and you had to do it. So that's why I said, I, I'm not going to say I don't like this. You must stop now. Next. Next is Chandan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. <laughs> about life. Yeah, you're very serious. Have you noticed? That is why out of that seriousness you have dvesha. Dvesha comes out of seriousness. You're taking life too seriously. Yeah, stop holding on to life so tight. It's not so bad. Just be relaxed. Play with it. Take it. Yeah, big deal. It's not going to kill me. Yeah. And he gave you example, no? Of those Scared monkeys, how they hold tightly onto something. Yeah. He tells you, remember you are free. This knowledge makes you free. You are walking enthusiasm. Yeah, it doesn't matter who is in front of you. He said, no, whether it is a laborer or the president, you have the same enthusiasm. So, Last homework, homework number five. Yeah, free your enthusiasm from people, situations, and things. Yeah, I say I am enthusiastic only about this thing and not about that thing. That means I am a slave to these things. Yeah. Free your enthusiasm from these people, situations and things. Yeah? You are simply enthusiasm. Simple. Yeah? Keep life simple. Don't make it so serious. It's really not serious. It's all a play. Just play. Yes? When you learn just to play, then Shamyati. This is the most important word here. Shamyati. Question please. Yeah. You are at peace. You will be at peace. That is the real peace. Yeah. When you drop the seriousness about life. 
when you free your enthusiasm from all these people, situations and things. Yeah? Then only can you really be at peace. Otherwise, your Raga and Dvesha are just hitting you from this side and then from that side and you are like a football. You are just being kicked by your own Raga and Dvesha. The mind makes life miserable. Life is not miserable. It's all fun. It's all a game. Yeah, it's up to you whether you play a game just you know, for fun or you make it like a big competition and make it miserable for yourself. Yeah? That choice is in your hands. That much free will you have. So, you choose to make life simple. Stop being so serious. Shamyati. Be at rest. Yeah? So that completes today's Ashtavakra and the Sutra.